Hello again, this is Priscilla Badsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio, hovering right over my camera, to try and show you that really cool screensaver, which is my wave on my phone. And that is my 14 by 14 inch canvas. And I'm going to put this down where I can find it. Take my sidewalk chalk that I've made a sort of a kind of a feeling of that drawing just with some random looking lines and I have some Amsterdam white and Floetrol cell activator and I'm thinking about doing whatever comes naturally starting with a little dioxazine purple and I can't believe that I left a bottle unopened but I'm pretty sure I can get this one yes there's the Prussian blue and a little bit of Venetian blue and let's because it's supposed to be dark let's go for some I think it's navy blue from from Anita's and I'm just going to fill in a little bit because it's all about being dark down there and it has to be open to interpretation I'm going to use what's left over the residuals on my spatula to go both across the bottom and on the edges and then move along <laughs> as best I can. I love the fact that it looks like there's a bunch of electric blue in there. And I'm very interested in playing with that. And I'm not sure I can get away with this, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be some fun trying to play with it, no matter what. And I think the Anita's White Metallic is going to come into this quite a bit. Now I have several colors of turquoise, as well as that blue, and I think I'm going to use some of that Venetian blue, kind of sparingly. And I really thought about putting my usual dose of... I need his white metallic down as a base, but then I decided not to. I'm not sure why not. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. I want something that's a little more green. And I definitely need more of the darkness in here. And that was the Prussian blue, which leaves room for another color. And I think I'm gonna indulge my creative side and put a little bit of the amethyst from Artist Loft, which is a metallic, in there. I also think, because the sky in that picture I was looking at is kind of brownish, really, that I'm going to just go for whatever makes sense to me. And that, for me, is also open to interpretation. And this is some fiery red from Arteza. And I don't think it's going to hurt anything. And this was, I think this was some, it's also Arteza, I think it was some tangerine. And it's another metallic. Metallics are my thing. I like metallics. I'm not looking for perfection. It's definitely an abstract expressionist piece. I'm hoping that things are going to be damp enough to keep working on them. And that is, I did start with a, with a twice or two or three times primed base coat of the Anita's Navy. Now, I think I can get away with covering that top later. I don't have to do it now. I think I'd like a little more. Well, no, I'm going to avoid that because I can always add paint on top of a color to get rid of a color for sure. So what am I going to do now? I'm going to look at my drawing again and I'm going to notice that I have a whole lot of white and I'm really contemplating what is going to happen as far as making that foamy looking water what do you call sea foam or spray or whatever you want and I think what's going to happen is I'm going to grab the largest 
round tool and I'll leave the link for this tool underneath the video. I'm going to put some more color in there. <laughs> and I guess we'll see how it works pretty quick here. I want that to all the way to the edge. Boy, I'm nervous. But then I've been getting nervous lately. You know what else? I have some purple cell activator and I might want to use that too. So let's just dip my tool. It really requires a fair amount of paint to make this work. And I do love these tools because I can twiddle because the the handle is made of a piece of bamboo skewer, then I just get to twiddle. I don't know that there's a better word for that. Blues don't always sell. I'm going to try some of it straight on the canvas <clears throat> because I can sort of thing. Because it won't matter if it's white. Now, being that it's mostly cell activator and not a lot of the Amsterdam white, I wonder. So this is a good experiment for me. And I think I'm just going to keep right on doing that. Using that cell activator. My tool is a little bent. Ah, I got it back. Cool. I'm just going to follow little bits of what my wave is telling me from the picture. And I'm still going to have to fill in over here. Actually, I don't if I don't want to, or I could wait until tomorrow. So I'm sort of just spreading the paint for the moment. And then I will throw a few more colors in there. I am not sure what this color is, but it's metallic and it's purple. So I'm going to give myself an opportunity to just fill in And let it be whatever it wants to be. And keep doing that. That was the Venetian blue. That's that purple that it's. It makes me want to put a whole bunch of white in there and see what happens. Because making sea foam is evidently an art form. And I don't want it to be flowers. And I know that dragging it out is not going to let it be as foamy looking, but this is all an experiment anyway. The last time I did a wave, I did it with a spatula. I do kind of feel like it would be interesting to uh, just go ahead and add some spirals, but I'm also liking what I'm seeing right now, and I might be willing to call this the first draft and uh, not worry too much about what I get. I don't know how much paint there actually needs to be in there along with cell activator.
to activate cells, but I kind of assume it should be more than I'm using. But they are breaking out little by little, which is good. Now I have more down here. I kind of think that if I just keep putting my white cell activator in there, I might win the, win the war. I want some. I want some more electric blue, but I also want it to be very turquoise. I have some color shifting folk art turquoise, so I'm going to give that a shot. see what's there and add something in and I think it's more of the more of the dark and it is I'm going to resist the black stick with the blue kind of wanting another color in there just to add a little interest and I'm contemplating using some of the cell activator that's purple that was just the Aussie Flow Troll mixed with some of the Hobby Lobby brand. I need some sort of twisty turny things to make it look like it's coming up. And I'm inclined to use that color in the middle. It does look like a wave. That's kind of amazing. <laughs> that is probably the last thing I expected. Just because it doesn't really look like a wave in the picture either. But I'm getting closer and closer to what I want. And I can use the little edges of my tool to create the look of water just by adding lines, by dragging it back and forth. I still need some more sky here, and that's going to be okay. kind of like everything down here, especially those cells, which I want to put some more in. Yeah, blowing is better than the straw and better than swiping. As far as resulting foamy looking areas go. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with all that. So I'm gonna try and resist doing anything more. Well, no, I have a little bit of canvas. But the canvas isn't canvas. It's the, it's the pre-primed navy from Anita, Anita's. And if I did have any chalk marks, which I just saw a couple of them, I could erase them tomorrow. But that does look like a really nice wave to me. And if I have another little tool, and I do, now when I use a dark canvas in the background and I, and I do what I'm doing here, the next day I went back, the last time I did something with the sun in the picture, and I filled in and it worked out pretty well. Um, what am I looking for? I have another color. I have the dairy lid. And I'm going to take my paint right off my spatula if I can. And there we go. That is pretty cool. I'm not unhappy with any of that at all. That works well for me. I'm going to torch that. 
I'm going to use any and all residual paints. I'm going to try and touch up my edges probably after you guys are gone. I like the color of that sky. It's pretty slick. And it's mostly oranges, red oranges, and gold oranges. And I don't think a few blobs here and there that are going to level out because of the flow trouble in my mixture, as well as the GAC 800. I paint pouring recipes underneath the video. That is super slick. I'm really liking this. So much more than I anticipated. I guess I got some chops. <laughs> I don't know why I feel like I have to have straight lines in the sky. That doesn't make any sense to me. Skies don't have straight lines in them usually. Unless they're chemtrails. And even then, they're not that straight. All right, so please give me a thumbs up. Thank you for watching the videos longer. And if you're not subscribed, we'd love to have you. If you're newly subscribed, thank you for being here. And um, please share my videos. When you watch them longer, you help me out. I have over 2,100 videos, and you can find them on playlists, all playlists, all playlists, created playlists on my YouTube channel. And if you can't find what you're looking for, I have everything organized. It's all organized by topic and genre and by the hundred. And I am going to use my thumb to just steal a little bit of paint, and then I'm going to fix it. I really should tell you I have two minutes. Thank you very much for all the donations that help keep me painting all this time. I love my wave. I might want just a little bit more. Right there. Yeah, that doesn't bother me. Even upside down, I can tell I like that. I do torch to release the bubbles coat in paint. I want you guys to know my link tree underneath the video, which is the first or the second blue link, depending on whether I put the video that it contains the uh, instructions on how to make my small acetate tools on bamboo skewers. The link tree has Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, my Facebook groups. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group is for students. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. Totes and more will take you to shop now. FineArtAmericaPixels.com. I'm going to pull this forward and add a little bit of color because I got nothing better to do while I try and tell you to shop my Amazon link at no added cost to you because it helps me out. And uh, as far as I can tell, I'm earning 6% of what I should be earning. So the fact that you guys make a donation and get yourself included in the monthly drawing, and you can see those prizes on the end screen video of every video in the last 20 seconds. Um, included on the exhibition video that I change out every month. PayPal and Patreon. Actually, PayPal is the only way to go. <laughs> I'm canning Patreon shortly, if not already. So, you'll be automatically entered, if you'd like to be, by making a donation through PayPal. And you can find that, ch that icon on the bottom of my YouTube channel banner, on the right-hand corner. Or you can go to the link tree and find it on the link tree. Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter links, did I mention? They're on the link tree. My Amazon link is on the link tree. My two books are on the Amazon link because I can and unlimited possibilities. Thank you for all the kindness and all the comments and all the morale boosting words you leave me. I really appreciate you guys very much. More than you can ever know. Um, my email address, should you be interested in inquiring about a class at the house in Spring Hill, Florida, or purchasing an artwork, which requires the hashtag and the file number from the title of the video, is underneath the link tree. My community board is on my YouTube channel. When you go there, you can see what tomorrow's video is. If you have questions, please ask me. Make sure to open Show More to see the paint pouring recipe and the cell activator recipe. I'm sure I forgot something. Spring clothing under the video has all over print leggings and all over print t-shirts. And the top link on my link tree is Legalerist, which is investment quality clothing, dresses, beautiful kimono tops, made in Montreal with some very exclusive designs of mine. If you ever can't find what you're looking for added to my fineartamericapixels.com or Spring, just ask me and I will add it. Um, everything from an inexpensive greeting card to a yoga mat to a duvet cover is available. If you have an interest in helping me out, do some shopping. I torched to release the bubbles coat in the paint. I will see you guys in on if you are not gone already.